what is cracking? It is your girl, Lillian Francis. I'm a music producer and educator, and it is my goal to make learning Ableton Live super chill and hella fun. I also teach private lessons, so if you want to learn one-on-one -on -one with me, holler at your girl. The last video I created was a collaboration with Court Climbs, and she sent me a bunch of rock climbing sounds. <laughs> and then I created a drum rack out of it. And now I'm gonna use that drum rack to create a song using only those sounds in one hour. After that, Courtney's gonna take this song and sing over it and create a celebration song to play every time someone sends her out in climbing. Courtney and I bonded over our love of rock climbing, so this is such a fun collaboration for us to do. I will go ahead and link the video she makes in her channel down below, so check her out. She's fucking fantastic. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna take this. We'll probably do a pretty quick song, just like an intro and a verse and a chorus, because we only have one hour and I might develop it a little bit afterwards, but yeah. And hopefully y'all will learn a bunch of sound design techniques and just see how how I approach creating music and my workflow. So without further ado, let us dive right in. <gasps> Splash! All right, let's get started. So, so far in this track, we have our drum rack and I'm gonna start out by just creating a couple rhythms and seeing where that takes us. So here's one of my favorite little cheats, going straight to the groove pool and pulling out one of the grooves into our track. Cool, and <laughs> bring that out. Sweet. Cool, that's kind of chill. Cool, and these. Okay, so these are basically just MIDI clips that we have dragged out, and now we can click to select all of these guys and move them up to our hi-hats. All right, let's add in the kick and snare. So when I'm drum programming, I just click and then listen to it. And as it's happening, I just think, oh, okay, this needs to be here. This needs to be here. And then I just move shit around and draw shit out. So. Cool. We're going to call that number one. So a couple more of these. Okay. Move that up. Cool. And let's try it one more. Mm. Boom, da, boom, da, boom, da, boom, da. Mm. Boom, da, boom, da. Cool. Oh yeah, we'll call this number two. We'll call this one number three. And we'll get to the other two later if we want. Let's set ourselves up for success by creating a couple instruments. So Courtney has left me with two melodic elements. We have our walkie-talkie. And we have this like bottle flute situation. Mm. So we're just gonna drag this guy out into our drop files and devices here. And now we have all on its own, a simpler device with our bottle on it. Let's tune it. So let's grab our tuner. It's got a lot of different tunes. So we're gonna drag this in and this in and find a stable tune. That's pretty stable. Okay, we're gonna go over into classic mode so we can turn on the loop and then we're gonna bring the loop down a little bit so that we can bump up the fade. Cool, so it's hovering around a flat. Whoa, the release is 60 seconds. Let's bring that down. Bring the tack up a little bit. Excellent. And let's go ahead and tune it. Let's go into controls and transpose it. Excellent. So I'm just playing A on my keyboard, which is playing C3. So now when I play C3, I'm getting an actual C to be played, which is fantastic. All right, so we're gonna call this flute. Now let's make our other instrument, which is a walkie-talkie, sir, walkie-talkie. Okay, here it is, drag and drop. This guy has two different pitches, it looks like. So let's just grab this last pitch. Excellent, and let's tune this. It needs to come up 18 semitones. Transpose it down till it's hitting C when I play C. I kind of want to duplicate this because maybe I want two versions of the sound. I could have one sound that's like, which is more of a pluck. I'm actually going to switch this over into classic mode so that I can change the attack and decay. Let's just bring that sustain all the way down and bring out the decay a little bit. Cool. It's kind of like a 8-bit style dingle dingle. Um, let's go to our other walkie talkie and make this one more of like a spacey situation. So let's get some hybrid reverb on there. I like using the shimmer algorithm because it has this pitch up knob that's really cool. And then let's maybe get a cool audio effect. Echo. 
Yeah, cool. Let's try to loop in this. See what's Gucci. All right, cool. Uh, so we have three instruments. <laughs> Let's make a bass out of this flute as well. We're gonna take this and just copy it over by holding option. It's just a nice sine wave, which is as bassy as it gets. We're gonna get a control and transpose it the fuck down. Cool, and let's chain the attack and the decay. And how do we make it bassy? Well, first we can create like a tiny bit of a pitch envelope. So it's gonna pitch down. It's gonna start at 12 semitones and then take 26 semitones to get to where it needs to be. And let's saturate the fuck out of it. Ampy situation. Yeah, let's get Let's also try a little bit of saturator on this bad boy. And maybe a little bit of pedal. I'm gonna throw an arpeggiator on this just for a little bit of inspiration. Cool, the first thing I played, I liked that, so I'm gonna hit capture. I like this, but I actually wanna take the arpeggiator off, but I'm just gonna do this by shift command T, creating a new MIDI track, getting my MIDI from this bass track, and then recording this in. That's chill. Let's bring this over into our arrangement. Oh, we have to throw a <laughs> instrument on it too. So let's get all these basic instruments and just copy them over. Let's get a groove happening here. Cool. All right, let's get a little walkie talkie. Da -da -da -da. I'm just gonna write shit in and hope it sounds good. No, let's save that for later. I'm gonna get my like a little arpeggiation going um, with my walkie talkie, shift command M, this one. I'm just gonna drag in this up and create little chords. Let's throw an arp on this. Let's go. Let's try this down here. Cool. No, it sounds too happy. That third chord is cool, but no. All right, that's good enough. Ooh, I kind of like that. Maybe some pads underneath. Let's actually just pull these over. Cool. And we need to get a compressor on here that's side chaining to the kick, side chain, audio from cork times drum rack from the. Alright, cool. Let's create maybe a little bit of an intro. Maybe we just have like this. Throw an auto pan on it. Chwomp, chwomp, chwomp. Auto pan. Amount all the way up. Phase down to nothing. Chwomp, chwomp. Cool. Okay. And let's duplicate this. Shift command D. Da -da -da. And then. And then we're gonna like leave it. Da -da -da. Da -da. And then maybe just like get just gets into like a big D. <laughs> a big D. Uh, let's add this. And let's turn this. Let's compress all of these. Let's compress, compress, compress. I'm gonna move this over here. And let's use maybe the second drum beat we made. We need a little bit of a, a reverse into this chorus we have. Let's add some more hybrid reverb. And 
resample it. Let's make this 100% wet resample. Swamp, swamp, lose this as a lead. Oh, what am I gonna do? Oh, I need some bass. Boom, 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 boom. It happened. That was an hour. That went so much faster than I expected. I got a little bit caught up in minutia sometimes, but I think it sounds okay. It sounds like a good start and I don't need to be hard on myself because winning is opening Ableton and creating music. So let's give it a listen. If you would like to see the music video that Courtney is making to this, the link is in my bio. Check it out. Courtney, thank you so much for inviting me to be part of this challenge slash adventure. I had a blast doing it. If you enjoyed this video, I would surely appreciate a like and a subscribe to help both the algorithm and my ego. It helps me get my message of musical joy out to the universe. So thank you very much and I will see you next time.